Hey YouTube, this is the Computer Doctor here to give you a quick tutorial on how to install Optifine for Minecraft. The first step that you have to do is you have to go to your web browser and you have to go to the Optifine homepage. And you'll find the link for which one that you want. The downloading and installing procedure is the same for whichever one you choose. But for this instance, I want to do the Ultra version. So, you want to go to the download tab and it'll take you to another address and it'll give you the download. I already have it on my desktop, so I'm just going to go from there. The other thing that you'll need to complete this tutorial is to have WinWAR. Once you have both of these, you are set to go into the next step. So the next step is to go down here to start. You want to type in percent app data percent, and you want to hit enter. And you'll see your Minecraft folder up here. Go ahead and click it. Go ahead and then and you'll see Minecraft down here. You want to right click it, and you want to go to Open With and then one more archiver. Once you open that, go ahead and delete the Meta INM folder. And once that is deleted, you can go ahead and make it to the left side of your screen. Next, you want to open the Optifine folder. You want to drag that to the right side. Then you want to highlight all these class files that are in here. You go ahead and do that. And then just go ahead and drag all of that into this other window. You want to hit OK. And once all of that is through, you can go ahead and exit out of course window. Then you want to go to your Minecraft icon on your desktop. Go ahead and click it. Go ahead and log in. Mojang window will appear, and then the menu will appear. And if that appears, then you installed it correctly. So what you want to do is you want to go into multiplayer, or wherever you want. I'm just going to log into my server out real quick. I feel will be in the description if you want to join 24-7. And now you are playing your Minecraft game. When you hit F1 so you don't get all that crap down there. And then you can take a look at your options. When you go to your options, you can go to video settings and you'll have a lot more options of what you can do. So if you're in the mood to make it faster, you can go ahead and mess with all these up here. So the faster to make this faster, you'd have to change the graphics to fast. Smooth lighting, take that off. Smooth lighting level, that'll be off. GUI scale, doesn't really matter. Brightness doesn't really matter. Fog, just turn it to off. Server text is off. Render distance, you want to do extreme. Or you could do tiny. Tiny gives you the best performance, but I'm just going to keep it normal. Actually, I'll keep tiny. Performance. You want to move performance all the way to max FPS. View bobbing, take that to off. Advanced OpenGL, take that off. Chunk loading, you want to do it to multi core if you have multi core. If you want to know if you do have multi core, just go in here to start. Click on your computer. Actually, you want to right click it. Go to properties. And it should tell you right here if you have more than one. There's two numbers here. It's dual core. Mine's a quad core, so I'm good. Alright, so the next option is fog start. Doesn't doesn't really matter this one. For quality, you can go ahead and mess with these if you want. If you want it fast, just turn all of them off. For performance, smooth FPS, you want on that doesn't move chunks that far. You want to load that for uh, load far. And that's pretty much pretty much it with that part. So thank you for watching. Hopefully your performance is a lot faster as it is to me. So give this video a like and a subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.